Okay, so here it is. Not the best, not anything crazy, but mainly I just want to test it out and see how it does. Oh, so today we have a very special moment. I actually have my helmet here. It's a Sedici carbon fiber uh, Strata. And uh, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting the mic inside it with the GoPro, so that way we can get some awesome mode vlogs going here. Um, yeah, so basically I got the setup. I uh, ordered the Purple Panda uh, lav mic and uh, a new helmet mount for the chin. And we have the GoPro Hero 6 here, as well as the GoPro audio adapter for the mic. And basically I already uh, hooked it up and tested it out. It works great. You want to make sure that everything's plugged in. If you guys are going this route, make sure it's plugged in all the way and um, test audio out. I know there's a few uh, quirks with uh, GoPros and uh, the older ones anyways that you can't just press the one button record or else the audio won't capture but you have to turn it on and then hit record and then it should be fine. However, we're gonna test it out today. I'm gonna do a motor vlog for you guys and uh, yeah, we're gonna get the show on the road so let's get it. Excuse the mess, I know, I'm messy but let's go. So, as you guys can see, we have the Sedici Strata 2 carbon fiber helmet. This is real carbon fiber, by the way. So, um, this is uh, a really good helmet so far from, from my experiences, and uh, I like it a lot. It's definitely got the sound barrier, and uh, we're actually going to test it with the actual mic today. So, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, first step is pretty easy. You want to figure out where you want your mount first. Make sure to wipe everything down so it's clean. We're actually going to go for the chin strap mount. Um, I actually got this off Amazon. It's a chin strap that kind of folds around this right here and gives it a nice grip. It's going to tie into it pretty good, so I'll show you guys. So in the package, you got these right here. Pretty good stuff. It folds. It's like nunchucks. But uh, yeah, you have these, um, and then it's supposed to go around the chin like that. So I'm hoping that that's gonna work, work out fine. Um, but yeah, let's get right to it. Always good to have a little bit of heat on this, guys. So if you have a heat gun or a hair dryer, that's gonna work better. First step, you wanna place the stickiness onto this. This definitely looks like it's going to be pretty solid. Let's kind of play around with this and see where we want it. So this has a pretty good swivel right here, which is something that I was lacking at first. So it kind of almost doesn't really matter where you put it because you can swivel. You can do a pretty good swivel. I definitely want it lower because I don't want it in front of me, but if I have to tilt it down, I will. I guess somewhere like right there. Or upside down, huh? Somewhere like right there, see how tall this will be. Oh yeah, I can definitely see from there. So yeah, we're gonna definitely go with that guys. So if you look at it, you wanna make sure you have enough. Jesus Christ, what's going on? Enough turn to do that, and that, and that. That's kind of about where you want it right there because when your head's lower and you do super view, you're gonna be able to catch out all the view. So that's about where you want it. So we're gonna go ahead and place it on. I think I found a good placement so it's not too high above my head. It, it would be nice to see it, but I find that it might be a little too distracting for me. Mm -hmm. 
looks insane bro this is like a fucking rig rig this is gonna catch so much wind but my shit's a monster so does it really matter probably not we got some electrical tape aka a wannabe gaff tape i don't know what the hell gaff tape is um i'm just trying to live my life bro but uh if she works she works I think it is gaff tape, bro. So the Sadichi helmets have an underlayer right here, and you can actually clip it onto there, which is freaking awesome. And then you can plug this back in and tuck the wires if you really wanted to. So that's pretty freaking cool. And then I can actually tuck the wires in here. So here it is, not the best, not anything crazy, but mainly I just want to test it out and see how it does. This uh, should work, I tested the audio out, but I want to test it out while riding and see how it does, how it holds up, and uh, yeah, I think this helmet's really good. The Sedici is a good brand, it's a cycle gear house brand, and uh, they have a bunch of good stuff guys, it's like entry level stuff that's basically uh it's on the come up i'm not gonna lie they're quality and uh affordable uh um brand so i, I highly recommend sadichi i have a sadichi helmet jacket and gloves uh all pretty sick i'll show you guys and do a review on everything i have as far as gear and uh yeah let's go out and uh, get some riding in i thought that was a street bike but it's a moped <laughs> awkward Oh, it's always awkward. Look, I'm already at 167 degrees. 
63 Our turn? No? Yes? Fucking kidding me Just killed it! Make up for lost time, I guess. I hate it, dude. Every time I take it out for the first time, it's only when I take it out for the first time and I don't ride it, like ride it around for it to warm up, even if it says 200 degrees, it will just die at me at the light. And that shit pisses me off. Ah. That was uh, a little extra, but whatever. Um, you guys don't know because I obviously didn't have the vlog set up yet, but my chain actually, the master link came off on that same road we were just on. Actually kind of where I was gunning it. Uh, my chain, uh, it didn't snap, the master link came off, the chain fell off, flew like somewhere over there like 20 feet. And uh, yeah, I had to push that shit home, like a few blocks. But yeah, the chain fell off and it was loose, I'm sure. Master Link was weak, obviously, if you guys, you guys probably already know this, but the clips, the clip version on the Master Links are just super weak. But for me, I for some reason feel like the chain's loose. Over time, the chains get loose for sure. So that's just my guess. So uh, what I ended up doing was I bought a new sprocket front and rear, and I actually upgraded to the rear super light sprocket from Motor Corsa. And it's a 48 teeth instead of a 46. Also, I got a new front sprocket. And the front sprocket is 14 teeth instead of 15. So the gear ratio is gonna be messed with a lot. I wouldn't say a little bit. I would say a lot since I'm changing both. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have more acceleration on the, on the get-go, which is fine because I mostly do city riding. But we're, we're gonna have to find out for sure uh, once we change it up because, yeah, it, it just, I, I can tell the difference now. Like, if I think about it, I could tell this bike is designed more for, you know, commuting on the highway. And I don't do enough of that to really prefer it. So, so I don't know if you guys can hear the wind right now, but. I personally can hear the wind and I hope it turns out on uh, on here and you don't really hear it all raspy and windy and shit because um, I'm still messing around with the mic placement and uh, the distance from where it is from a helmet to my mouth before it was actually touching my mouth and, and that obviously did not feel comfortable so I had to switch it out but uh, hopefully it's good now we'll see. God, this is so windy. Well, I'm, I am on a naked bike, Street Fighter, so. Hey, GoPro adapter's holding on pretty good. I couldn't say, I wouldn't say I trust it, but uh, uh, I'd have to check it and see what the fucks are on there. But yeah, I mean, she made it here. Maybe I just need to get used to it, which, you know, most likely is the case. How, what the, that BMW literally lives right next to me. Um, maybe I just need to get used to it. 
but like I said, that was the first time I took it on the freeway. 